From Terminator's relentless T-800 to Star Wars' lovable C-3PO, robots in movies have set the bar sky high. They cook, clean, fight wars, and deliver witty one-liners, all while looking sleek and moving smoothly. But here's the question. How do real robots stack up? Are X-1's Neo Gamma or Boston Dynamics Spot anywhere close to the sci-fi icons we grew up with? Or are we still in the clumsy toddler phase of robotics? Before Boston Dynamics, Tesla, or Unitree, we had the OGs of humanoid robotics. Back in 2000, Honda introduced Asimo, a small humanoid that could walk, wave, and climb stairs. It was groundbreaking, but if you watch the old videos, it looks more like a kid in a spacesuit wobbling around. Sony had QRIO, a cute little bot that could dance and sing, and Toyota even experimented with robots playing violins. These machines captured the imagination, but they were more tech demos than practical workers. Fast forward to today, and the dream has shifted from look how cute it walks to look how many jobs it can do. The question is, how close are we really? Let's start with the dream. In movies, robots are flawless. They never drop things, never trip, and always know exactly what to say. Think about it. iRobot gave us sleek assistants that can jump, run, and protect humans. Wally made us cry over a garbage compacting cube, and Ex Machina convinced us humanoids might one day be more human than us. Pop culture created an expectation that robots should be useful and charismatic. The reality? Most real robots can barely open a door without looking like they're fighting their life's hardest battle. Now, let's look at the real deal. Boston Dynamics has given us Spot, the dog-like robot that dances better than most people at weddings. It can open doors, climb stairs, and carry gear. But here's the thing. Spot costs around $75,000 and needs a trained operator. It's not vacuuming your house anytime soon. Boston Dynamics also showed off Atlas, the humanoid robot that does parkour and backflips. Impressive? Yes. Practical? Not yet. Atlas isn't serving burgers or folding laundry. It's more of a flex. Proof of what's possible, but not what's ready for your home. Boston Dynamics shows us the stunt moves, but where are robots actually working today? Take Amazon's warehouses. They already have hundreds of thousands of robots moving shelves, scanning barcodes, and zipping around with uncanny efficiency. Hospitals in China are rolling out service robots that deliver meals and medicine. In Japan, nursing homes are experimenting with robot pets and assistants to support the elderly. None of these robots can backflip, but they do real useful work every day. That's an important reminder. Flashy videos get the clicks, but the boring robots are the ones already changing industries. Then there's Tesla's Optimus. Elon Musk claims this humanoid robot will eventually cost under $20,000 and handle boring tasks, like grocery runs, factory work, and even household chores. The reality? Early demos showed Optimus shuffling around like a kid in dad's shoes. It's learning to pick up boxes and do yoga poses, which is neat, but nowhere near the sci-fi housekeeper we imagined. Still, Tesla's bet is scale. If they can mass-produce humanoids as easily as cars, they can flood the world with affordable robots. The question is, will Optimus be your personal assistant or just another beta feature that needs a software update every week? Elon Musk has promised that Optimus will one day cost less than $20,000 and sell in the millions, basically like a car. But let's be honest, the prototype demos so far look more like a high school science fair than a revolution. Early versions could barely shuffle forward, and even the latest one is mostly doing rehearsed motions. Still, Tesla has one advantage, scale. If they ever figure it out, they've got factories, supply chains, and money to push humanoids into homes faster than anyone else. The big question, will Optimus actually replace workers 
or just become another overhyped Musk promise. China's Unitry has become famous for making affordable robot dogs, some under $3,000. They can run, flip, and even play soccer. Their humanoid prototypes like the Unitry H1 are shockingly nimble. These robots are fast, lightweight, and built with AI balance systems that let them dodge and recover in ways that look eerily natural. If Boston Dynamics makes robots for defense contracts, Unitry seems to make robots for TikTok virality, and yet their progress is rapid. Imagine cheap humanoid assistants built as easily as smartphones. That's the vision. Then there's 1X Robotics from Norway. Their humanoids, Neo and Gamma, are designed with one thing in mind, safety around humans. Instead of looking intimidating, they're wrapped in soft shells, built to assist in warehouses, offices, and eventually homes. They're not doing flips, they're doing tasks. The sci-fi version of a butler robot might pour your wine perfectly. Neo is still figuring out how not to spill the bottle. But the design philosophy, safety first, utility second, may actually make them more realistic than flashier competitors. Unitry has been selling robot dogs for as little as a few thousand dollars, making them some of the first semi-affordable quadrupeds on the market. Their humanoid prototypes like G1 are still clunky, but they move with surprising speed. 1X, meanwhile, has a different vision. Instead of factory robots, they're designing androids that can work in offices, doing reception tasks, or even basic security. Fun fact, OpenAI is actually an investor in 1X, betting that their software plus 1X's humanoid bodies could create the first truly general-purpose worker robots. That should tell you how seriously the AI giants are taking this space. And then we have Ameka from Engineered Arts in the UK. This isn't about strength or agility, it's about expression. Ameka is the most lifelike humanoid in terms of facial gestures. It can smile, frown, raise eyebrows, and creep you out with uncanny realism. In movies, robots are charming. In real life, a mecha is mainly used for research and exhibitions. But it shows us how close we're getting to crossing the uncanny valley, for better or worse. A mecha is designed for interaction. It's been a hit at tech conferences and on YouTube shorts because of its facial expressions and eerily human-like movements. But here's the catch. We're still deep in the uncanny valley. That's the term for when robots look human, but not human enough, making them creepy instead of comforting. You wouldn't want a mecha babysitting your kids, but you'd definitely stop and film it at an expo. That highlights a key divide in robotics. Some companies are chasing human-like realism, while others are happy, making machines that are obviously machines. Here's something fascinating. Culture shapes how we see robots. In Japan, robots are often seen as friendly helpers. They're in hotels, care homes, even cafes. Decades of anime like Astro Boy made robots seem like companions. In the West, though, sci-fi gave us Terminator, HAL 9000, and Skynet. We expect robots to rebel. That's why many people see a mecha and think, oh no, it's starting. These different cultural lenses may explain why Japan embraces social robots faster, while the West keeps making dystopian movies about them. Think about sci-fi. In Star Wars, droids are everywhere from pilots to butlers. In Westworld, androids are indistinguishable from humans. In Iron Man, Jarvis practically runs Tony Stark's life. Compared to that, today's robots are still toddlers. They wobble, they fall, they can barely do chores without months of training. But here's the twist. AI is accelerating fast. Combine the physical progress of humanoids with the brains of systems like ChatGPT. And suddenly, we're not that far from assistants who look, move, and think almost like us. That's the gap everyone's racing to close. So do real robots live up to the sci-fi hype? Not yet. 
They're clumsy, expensive, and still need babysitting. But progress is undeniable. Every year, they get faster, stronger, and a little more lifelike. The question isn't if we'll get sci-fi robots. It's when. So what do you think? Are humanoid robots the future of work and home life? Or just expensive party tricks? Let me know in the comments. Robots are catching up with sci-fi fast. But will you? Don't get left behind. Hit like, subscribe, and check out our AI Cyclops workshops to get ahead.